Welcome back to day four. Today's topic is about getting a plan. You need to have a plan in organizing your photos and saving them. Life gets in the way and sometimes you have to step away for a little bit. And when you come back, it's nice to know where to start. I am going to share the Pix photo plan and uh, you can kind of jot notes down in your guide about this. I don't know if it's the right plan for you, but it's a good starting point. So the plan centers around the word focus. All right, I love the word focus because it means that we are focusing in on tasks, all right? Quite often in photo organizing, you can go off on tangents and rabbit holes and then that can demoralize you, demotivate you, and coming back can be difficult. So focus, all right? Focus on the task at hand. The letters actually have meaning, like you see here. So F stands for find it all, O is for organize, C is for curate, U is for use, and S is for save, like save for future generations. That's why there's a family tree in the icon. Let's break it down, all right? Uh, F, find it all. I have a picture here of a digital photo mess, all right? You have pictures all over on different devices. You wanna find it all and get it physically to one location. Once you have everything together, then you can start copying pictures to folders on your computer. I call it the photos to organize folder. So copy everything over and you can see a screenshot here of what those folders might look like. Then we go into O for organize. We're gonna work in all of those folders, divvying up the pictures by years and months and topics in some cases. Curate allows us to save the pictures that we really want, the pictures of best quality, you know, that aren't repetitive. We also can delete pictures that we don't need. Curation is really a big responsibility. You are actually choosing the photos that you want your family to enjoy and share today and then for future family members to see. Once you have the folders curated, then they, they can be moved to a master family photos folder. Then the U stands for use your photos. And this can include editing your pictures, you know, cropping them, fixing the red eye, or even adding captions and tags. Also in the using area is when we share photos and we reference photos like the photos for information that I spoke about the other day. And the other area of using photos is creating. It is a massive market for uh, companies that offer photo books and gifts like uh, mugs and blankets and puzzles. I find that people are using their pictures, doing any one of these things so often, but they don't think about, you know, organizing and saving them first. So someone who makes a really nice photo book, you know, the family history, you know, five years down the line, someone's looking at that photo book and they might like that picture, that original digital picture, and no one can find it. It's actually happened to me. <laughs> now. The last part of the acronym is SAVE. Certainly, this does include backing up your work. You should have your pictures backed up to an external hard drive as well as an online storage or some storage outside of the house. That's important for sure. But the saving that I am talking about is for future generations. The only solution that I feel confident in is forever permanent photo storage. This company guarantees to migrate your pictures to the newest technology for your lifetime plus 100 years. So that's the FOCUS acronym. It is the spine, I guess you could call, of our PIX photo plan. If you want to know more about the PIX photo plan, there the masterclass link is down below and it's a full hour and a half. We actually go into organizing printed photos as well, which we follow the same focus uh, acronym as well. Your takeaways and your homework from today. I want you to kind of take a look at this plan and think about how it could fit with your current situation. You know, write some notes down about that and see what challenges you think you might have with it. It might not be the right plan, but maybe it gets you close enough to the plan that will work for you. And then 
start thinking about what you need to have on hand to organize in January. So that is it. This one's a little bit of a heavier lesson today and I think tomorrow we'll give you some resources so that you can have some other ideas about how to organize your photos as well. That's it for now. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you tomorrow for what? Uh, day five. <laughs> Take care.